Suppose we should buff as much as possible. I don't think there's gonna be anything sure. after this. like to have both warriors have the ability to see invisible things. Then mass death orb. Thank you very much. Spell resistance. Yeah. Not a bopping is ridiculous. Landra, very difficult. A banshee is the spirit of a strong-willed, selfish individual of a humanoid rage. race. Because of its rage at the loss of its own life, it delights in bringing death to any living creature it encounters. Don the mask. It is the only thing that can save you from me! Why do you seek to warn me? What is coming? Please, I can barely control my impulses as it is. You must protect yourself! Please, hurry! Put on the mask. Uh, just kick ass, I suppose. She's, she's doing, I guess, some kind of whale of banshee thing, but uh, we're all leaning into that, so that's just a waste of time. Except it wasn't. Seriously, what happened? He's not an evil creature. But what the fuck happened? This is delicious. The little mortal slays the faceless, the only creature in Westgate that could have challenged me. Then my dear friends, Altama and Tasheni, and then adds another dozen cursed souls to my collection. It's a shame you put that undead witch to rest before I arrived. She would have made a great prize. I wonder if you'll be nice enough to let me have your soul as a replacement. I remember you. I saw you in the Warrens. I'm quite the thespian, hmm? As you've probably gathered, the Hounds were my work. 
They were such playful puppies. It's a shame you had to kill them. What's this talk of souls? Who are you really? Who am I? That question has a thousand separate answers on a hundred different planes. But in the here and now, I am Zymina. I must confess, however, that I am not quite all that I appear. I must confess, I never expected this to be quite so easy. That foolish creature Tasheni and her were-rat puppet didn't suspect a thing. A ruse within a ruse within a ruse. Hardly a complex web to my kind, but enough to ensnare those two. I am slightly disappointed in Orbach. I had heard such promising things about him. I can hardly wait to claim his soul for the blood war. First things first, however. Demon. Shit. My thanks for all your work on my behalf. Devil. Devil, actually. A little puppet. You've been a most excellent tool. The players are all dead, and to the victor goes the spoils. What? Who dares? Always make sure you understand the nature of the game before declaring yourself the winner, Fiend. To trick me, mortal. I saw the faceless perish. For your arrogance, I shall inflict an eternity of torments upon your worthless soul. Okay. Miss Zymina. Highly, highly rians are the information gatherers of the Nine Hills. They often sit at the center of huge webs of flowing intelligence, using their terrifying intellects to increase their personal power whenever an opportunity presents itself. When a highly rian, highly rian is forced into a combat situation, it is most often because their blotting has been thwarted. But the grotesque beings are more than capable of overwhelming their enemies with their formidable power. This one won't stop us long. Yeah. We're gonna go for the Erinys first. I don't want any distractions. How many Zyminas are we? These two. Right. Kill her. You were not. No. Take care of yourself. You need to take this calmly and systematically. You, on the other hand, are a different matter. Do something you can do useful instead of wasting my goddamn time. I don't think we really need anything special here. Thank you, stranger. 
Because of your heroism, the curse has been lifted, and I am free to go to the throne of my god and receive the eternal reward I have been promised. But before I go, know that my wrath will be sated, my retribution complete. This place, this wretched place, will be obliterated and buried beneath the very mass of Faerun. By my hand, the evil that occurred here will be lost to the memories of humankind forever! However, no more blood will ever again be spilled here, and certainly no more of yours. Come, and let me transport you to safety. Go with my blessing, and with my thanks. You awaken. Good. That wretched spirit may have bought you a few extra minutes of life, but the game ends now. Your part is done. It is time that I remove the final piece from the board. You were destroyed. Suffice to say that in Westgate, anything is possible. Vampires don't die easily, and that applies tenfold to an archmage. You did what I had planned for you to do, to a point. I suspected Tesheni was behind the Ebon Claws, but she was never my equal, or even close. Whoever was leading the organization was almost my match. I needed to take drastic action to draw out the greater power. I faked my own death, and you were my tool. Indeed, I sacrificed two of my servitor vampires, as well as Tobias and the winery, in order to ensnare you. Had you performed your role and left, I would have allowed you to live, perhaps. I did not plan for the cursed spirit to reveal the location of my greatest operation. The factory was the source of blood that was to feed the Empire I am forging. You destroyed it, and with it, inflicted considerable damage to my plans. Why are you telling me all this? Because you have won my respect, and that warrants an explanation. Be glad few are given this honor. But enough talk. It is time for you to die. The morning sun rises over Westgate, its first gentle rays sweeping the shadows of night from the dingy streets. No, not now. Yes. When will you villains learn that lengthy speeches are bad for your health? The morning sun isn't nearly strong enough to destroy me as it might my servants. I have time enough to return to my lair. Make sure you are gone from the city by the time the sun sets once more, or my servants will hunt you down. That is a promise. I'll be back, Orbach. I have a stake with your name on it. Orbach doesn't reply. He simply regards you with his hypnotic gaze. A look of respect and hatred that promises much should you ever meet again. Ian. Okay.
I, I don't want to talk over this music, it's too loud. Um, yeah, mystery is a wastegate. Um, let's say the positives first. Uh, the combat in Contra wise, this is definitely one of the stronger, if not the strongest, of these uh, officially sold campaigns. No, definitely not as hard as Storm of the Year, not even close, but uh, in general, there's basically no, well, almost no trash pillar fights. Usually they have a, they're part of a quest and they're interesting enough. And later on, uh, the challenge goes away from the fights, but overall, it's a. I, I can't really gripe about it like I could with the original campaign. That that basically the first chapter, which is a, it's a basically a gigantic pile of shit, as far as most of the combat encounters are concerned. At least, well, at least the majority of them. There's just. Questionable, questionable decisions there. Here, it's uh, those decisions, those questionable decisions would be a minor fraction of the overall encounters. Mostly good, uh, very well tied to the actual quest and storylines. They don't feel like you're fighting for the sake of fighting. Something interesting is usually going on or quest related, and the fight fits well there. So, in that sense, yeah, I think this is probably one of the better one one of the campaigns I've played. Um, and I'm only comment going to comment on uh, the storyline from what I've played here. Uh, naturally, it could have gone a different way if we had chosen the Ebon Claws to align with, since the main baddie was apparently one of the, that faction, but I, I don't care for the story. It's a. Uh, it's not like the story is bad. It's that it's not told. You know, it doesn't unfold in a very nice way. For example, they started very much as a focus on the mask thing, yet. It was a little bit. It was pretty much the focus at the immediate start of the campaign. Then it just disappeared out of to nowhere, and then it just came back at the final stretch of the of the adventure module. I mean, I, I don't recall doing anything at all related really to the Domino Mask. Uh, there was a start dream, then there was a follow-up dream a little bit later, and then there was this the end, and that's pretty much it. So it's a it's a very disappointing campaign in the sense that what's what it starts out with is isn't really all that relevant as far as uh, what we're doing most of the game. Not at all. We're this feels like a campaign of side missions. Same with the story. I, I suppose the the problem sort of surfaces when we first met the uh, King of Night Mask. I, I don't recall his name anymore. The vampire king, anyway. Yeah, we meet him, and then sort of uh, these new villains just pop and pop and one goes down, a new pops, no I was the real boss, then goes down, no I was the real boss, and then finalizing in the demon, so that we've basically seen a glimpse once before, the, and suddenly she's the main baddie. It's, it's it's very unsatisfying. It's just, it's like, they. It feels like you had a game going to a certain point. Then suddenly, out of someone's just starts to pull uh, new characters out of their ass that I had no idea even existed. Really, I had no real connection to. 
there was just a minor side thing at some point in the game. I, I mean, a really, really just a more small glimpse of them, and suddenly they're supposed to be they're supposed to be the climax of a long story. Uh, I'm sorry, it you can't do that. It's like, well, it's I don't know. It's easy to give examples, but uh, it's uh, I, I don't think I'm not sure I want to because you'd have to know a game like that or the specific game I'm talking about to really understand. But uh, let's say Final Fantasy VII. Um, there's the there's a big baddie there that's really Sephira. And the game's very, very long, probably, well, depending how well you play, but um, tens of hours, usually, 30 hours. Uh, but the guy gets mentioned very early on, uh, you meet, have multiple counters very early on. This is not necessarily the main baddie all throughout the game, but well, the point is, you know who he is. He get, you have encounters, you, you have interactions multiple times before it all builds up to um, a climax that happens at the end and you, you sort of... it's, it's built well enough. You, you, want, you really sort of want to take him on because of all the things that have happened you have a history together you have uh, you have you have enough gripes with the man that you want to pay him back for all that has happened so far i, I can imagine that same sort of storyline more or less and then imagine going to that final encounter with all your history and then suddenly you have villains popping up after it and the you saw you I would imagine the reaction would be what the fuck were they thinking what the hell is going on why would you do something like this who are these people I barely known you had a perfect vill villain to go go with and you basically just flush it down the drain to go with this horrible bullshit this is not quite as bad because we had no real villain build up. We had a mystery, but that's sort of the problem. We had a mystery, but it wasn't uh, or a curse, but we never really again, besides the very early beginning of the game, it never felt that we had any curse with us. I often forgot I even had the goddamn mask. Uh, I didn't think about what what the sort of a main thing was. We just went along with a lot of things, a lot of quests that had nothing, absolutely nothing to do with what we would do with what we were doing. We had a very tangible connection with the night mask, but that's it. And that minor connection just pulled us forward and forward and forward until the end, and then everything just got tossed pile on top of each other and it's a gigantic mess and I, I, I was sort of a it very much took me out of the story I, I was sort of at this point I suppose we were just trying to find out the faceless one and their leadership and sort of a I was expe expecting some kind of climax and wondering so what's going to happen what's the real deal and it sort of it just happens suddenly things just start happening out of nowhere and and that's it and then the story ends so instead of having that climax that I was expecting it's sort of a started to rise toward the climax and then suddenly the ground under my feet was taken away and I tumbled a little bit and then the game ends. And I'm sort of uh, here still left wondering uh, how to feel about the end. It feel, feels like 
sort of feels like I played my own storyline then at the final minute I got mixed up in some other some other people who were playing their own storyline and then it all got just hum humbled and mixed up into each other and then just everyone dies and everyone, now we can go home And it's it's a shame. Gameplay wise, again, this is one of the stronger campaigns, definitely. But story wise, uh, the people who wrote this don't know how to tell a story. That's that's my. If it's told better better on the Ebon Claw side. I think you should have just nixed the other possible path and forced the player to go with the Ebon Claw somehow because this makes barely any sense. You are getting dragged along and then just things start happening. People start appearing, fights start happening and yeah, plans within plans within plans but if it all just unravels right on top of you suddenly, it's you don't appreciate it at all. It's you might as well just pull anything out of your ass, and that's it. I mean, we didn't locate the final place at all. The game basically just suddenly brings up a spirit to force us to go there. We had no real reason to go there or anything. We, it, it, it feels like some, at least at this point. There was sort of a breadcrumb, sensible logical breadcrumb trail to us to follow and a reason to follow and then it just gets thrown out the window and no this isn't this isn't the final confrontation. We're 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 relocating and rescheduling it to the deep underground in some kind of blood factory and villains, villains, villains then. Very, very unsatisfying. I feel I suppose I'm somewhat somewhat confused about the game. I, I don't feel it's uh, it's not a satisfactory in the end in any sense compared to every one of the other expansions. And I suppose that's why I'm bitching about it so much. Because if this had a strong story anywhere like the Mask of Jair, this could have potentially been the best one out of but it does so uh, I still think after playing all these I like the mask of the betrayer the most there are certain things I like about storm of the here and this and the original campaign that I think are the best out of the bunch but they're they're all a mixed back here the story sort of ruins this it's just not the talent of storytelling doesn't seem to be behind this. It's not like this is a gigantic pile of shit either, but it's it's uh it's not strong by any means. I would say it's not even average because of the weak finish. But it, it's it's there, more or less. It's it's not a thing. It is not totally worthless. It had me going just fine most of the, most of the game. But it just stumbles right at the right at the pushing line. I suppose it's the opposite of the original campaign. There, the old start was fairly weak and dull for a long time. Then it picks up, and I quite enjoy with the later parts of the campaign. With Storm of the here, uh, you don't really have a strong story. But at the same time, you don't have any kind of a stumblings on the story either. It's a, it's an average okay story, typical. You have a nice build up to the villain, and you have the encounter there. Pretty much predictable, nothing special about it. But at the same time, I I feel I like it more than this because it doesn't stumble at the end. At the same time, it's uh, attempting, to, I think, to be less ambitious too. So um, I don't really appreciate that all that much either. Mask of the Betrayer, best storyline, but 
it suffers gameplay wise. It's it's everything stares way overpowered. It, it's hard to it doesn't really work uh, same with the original campaign, it doesn't really work challenge wise unless you intentionally gimp yourself or something like that. But if you take rule advantage of the party and things like that, you, you just aren't gonna have really any challenges. So I, I don't know how to how to really put these uh, different campaigns in order. They all have their strengths and weaknesses, and I I don't think any one of them has or is strong at every level. Everything has its weaknesses. But Storm of the Zaheer and Mysterious of Wastegate are probably the strongest gameplay wise, balance wise, mechanical wise, and um, Mask of the Betrayer strongest story wise, and I like the old original campaign I suppose story wise better than the Mysterious of Wastegate or Storm of the Zaheer too, but it also stumbles pretty probably the most gameplay wise. So. It's depending on what you prefer, I suppose, that determines what you like the most. Still, um, I'm probably going to play custom campaigns. However, I I don't recall actually playing any uh, full custom campaign on Neverwinter Nights 2. I've tried some campaign sure but they've been part one or two of some longer planned campaign I never really played anything that was fully start from start to finish at the same time I haven't even looked at potential custom campaign for this game in these years so hopefully I can pick uh, uh, maybe a couple to play through see what other people make for this uh, the few I tried are at least I recall trying they were they were just very good, no complaints there. It's just that they ended when the story clearly didn't end. So it was uh, I don't want to even try something like that. Not sure when I'll get to do those. So uh, well, it, it well it does. The details don't really matter, but because I I I lost a lot of files long ago. But some of them included some custom campaigns on Neverwinter Nights 1, so I'm uh, planning to replay those, those take time. And uh, Fallout 4 is basically coming up uh, in uh, next week or week after that. So, very likely gonna eat up a lot of my time, so who knows. But I, I do intend to get back to this at some point.